kind of, it's really hard to have anything bad to say against public-private collaborations. I mean, this sounds so good. But realistically, what does it mean? The problem here is that technology and business development have been progressing at Moore's Law type acceleration, faster and faster and faster. Government processes, on the other hand, have actually not only not kept pace, but they've actually slowed down. Partly based on the same technologies, it is easier to organize opposition, it is easier to kind of collaborate and to oppose. Everything becomes slower in Washington, and the unhappiness with Washington is a symptom of that. And so, kind of, so you put in something that is really moving fast, and you link it with something that is really moving very slowly, and both sides are going to be really unhappy about this. So I'm not sure if this is ultimately going to work. Now, it becomes even worse if you start to harmonize these things internationally. And we're here at an Internet Governance Forum, and that is in the business of, you know, kind of globalizing these approaches. And again, kind of, doesn't it sound great, harmony and harmonizing, but it, again, it means slowing down the process, achieving compromises that work for Nicaragua as well as for Canada, as, w as well as for Argentina, and in the end, nobody's going to be happy. So one of the important conclusions that I have come to is that this whole notion of internet governance and global internet governance is not going to work in the past. It has worked in the, in the future. It has worked in the past, but the past is the past. The future is one in which different countries, different companies, different company coalitions are going to go their own ways, and they will interoperate, and it'll be a bit messy, but so what? At least they can do what they want in a faster way.